Hi everybody. My first dog of the day is here and it is a Bichon Poodle and I'm going to start her grooming with a bath but first I have to show you my coffee mug. I make these mugs and I sell them with the dog's picture on them. Isn't that cute? This one says my dog is my valentine and has his name on the back. All right we're going to get started. Let me get her out of her cage. She is going to get a number five blade all over with a Bichon head. I'm just going to hook her up here and get my coffee out of the way before I spill it. Warm the water up and load her up with shampoo. She has some hard eye crusty eye boogies. So I'm going to make sure I loosen them up while she's in the bathtub. Just get them wet so I can pull them away from the skin. That way, when I'm cutting her hair, it'll be loose and I can just shave it right out. So I'm going to give her some conditioner too. Make sure she's nice and soft. I'm just going to towel dry her face and then I'm going to clean up my mess in the tub, get her back out and finish blow drying her on the table. Every now and then, my microphone does not work. It shuts off for some reason. So I've done it again and today there is no sound. You guys can just sit back and relax and listen to this beautiful music. I'm going to spray some conditioning spray on her head and rub that in pretty good. And I'm also going to spray some on her tail because I have to brush her head and her tail out. Her tail hair is very thin because it's always matted. I have to use my thinning shears on it, so every time she comes it gets a little thinner and thinner. I'm just blow drying her and she doesn't seem to mind at all. I'm just blow drying her head and her ears. Her hair is very curly and takes a long time to dry. I have to brush her head and her ears out while it's still damp or it's going to dry really crispy and tightly curled. So I got to get all this brushed out. What I'm saying here is, if this was my dog, I would not do all this brushing. This is very painful, and her ears are always matted underneath next to the sides of her face right here. If you can imagine having your face brushed with a metal brush, it can't be fun. See, I, I don't know who really invented all these hairstyles for dogs. It makes sense to me that you would want your dog short, so you wouldn't have to brush them and they, so they wouldn't have to get matted. But most people want their hair longer. 
but they're not willing to brush them. Her tail has some tangles in it. So I'm using this dematting tool. It has like little razors and it just cuts through the hair. And I'm also going to use these thinning shears to thin out the hair so I can brush it out without pulling so hard. And I'm using my comb to go through and check for any tangles. And there's tangles, so I'm thinning it out even more. Checking for tangles again with the comb. I'm using a number five blade, which is probably about half this length taken off. I'm just showing you this tool is really good for brushing out mats. As long as it's not too matted, I can use it on the side of her face. If it was my dog, I would personally want a shorter face because they rub their faces in the dirt and they scoot their mouth. Like if they have an itchy face, they root around on the rug and then they just, it just gets all tangled up. The muzzles with the food and the water. So I shaved around the base of her tail with a tin blade, but what I'm doing is I'm going back with my scissors and I'm just blending it in, just so it's not so puffy on the top of her tail. I'm done with her body, so now all I have left is this front foot here, and I'm just going to trim between her toes and cut her nails. She's very good for this, she doesn't mind at all. I'm using my slightly curved scissors just to kind of make her foot round. I like the guillotine style nail clippers. Honestly, I'm not trying to be mean, but I really just, I do not like brushing out all this hair. <laughs> I feel bad, and I've been grooming 30 years, and I still feel bad. I don't like doing this to the dogs. It's part of my job, so I do it, but I don't like doing it. So I have to open up all her hair and brush next to the skin, being careful not to scrape her skin. So I'm brushing it all out. Going back with the comb and fluffing it up, make sure there's no tangles in there. And the sides of the face are always matted, and it's not just her. I mean, it's, it's all dogs because the ears flap over, and they're just pressing down, and they get, they get matted underneath. I'm just going to shave out the corners of her eyes really carefully with a 30 blade, really lightly. I have my curved scissors and I'm just going to make her head nice and round.
Her head has to be totally free of any tangles in order for me to do this because I have to run the comb through it over and over again. I'm just trimming up her ears, making them nice and round, and then blending them into her head. We are almost done, and now I'm just rounding off the corners of her mouth. Just fluffing it all up and making it round. I'm using my chunkers just to blend it in and give it a more natural look. I'm just spraying on a little bit more conditioner and wiping out the corners of her eyes with some water and a fragrance-free baby wipe. She has a little sore in the corner of her eye. I didn't do it, it was already there. I make dog bandanas for all the dogs that are groomed here. Look how cute this is, it says princess. I'm just trying to get off this last little scraggly hair on the corner of her eye and she is ready to go. Thanks for watching.